Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so uh, this is my algebraic geometry lecture, and uh, I hope to uh, talk some algebraic geometry. But I find I found that uh, in order to like make the things smooth, you, I need to talk about some basic theory in uh, commutative algebra. So this one is not difficult. So I think it's but it's still useful for us to uh, give the uh, give the review, right? If you have learned it in the during the commutative, uh, uh, I mean, ring, then it's fine that you can just skip. Okay, so uh, yeah, so let's let me just give the proof and uh, describe the detail, and uh, hope I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, so uh, our settings is a uh, Noetherian ring. Sometimes I'm hard to pronounce this word. Okay, so but I I usually pronounce this uh Noetherian ring. So re recall that the uh, Noetherian ring means that uh, if you have a descending uh, ideal chain, then the, there is n such that uh, it will terminate. Okay, so basically you cannot, uh, yeah, so I mean, yeah, should, 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 uh, yeah, you will terminate. Okay, so there is this n such that everyone uh, hold of some points will be the same. Okay, and, uh, and uh, so if theorem says that uh, if A is not zero ring, then uh, A of X is not zero ring. <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, this is what Hilbert basis theorem. Okay, now one can e easily see that uh, if you do this, then the A of X1, X2, Xn is also not zero ring. Uh, the reason is very simple because this guy is just x one up to x n minus one and uh, add the add the final uh variable. Okay. So this polynomial ring is not zero. And uh, in the algebraic geometry, uh, in algebraic geometry, usually uh, we can we will take a to be c or basically k, which is some algebraic closed field. And uh, obviously that if k is algebraic closed field, since it's field, right? So field must be not zero because the only proper ideal in the the only proper ideal in the field is just zero in any self. Okay, so uh, in order to prove this, we need a we need another like equivalent definition. Uh, I think everyone should be know should you should have learned it. If you don't know, it's fine that I will give the proof. Uh, so there is a fact that uh, if A is Noetherian, then it is the same as that uh, every ideal. In A is finitely finitely generated. Okay, this means that uh, if you take I below A, then the, there is this uh, x1 up to xn, so band notation such that uh, I equals to x1 generated x2 xn. So this means that uh, every element in I is a linear combination uh, with coefficient A such that this is true. Okay, and uh, yeah, so we, we need this the uh, we need this theorem. Uh, this I mean should be viewed as a fact so that uh, one can uh, one can easily to to prove some something is not zero, right? Otherwise, that uh, this ascending chain condition is not easy to use. Okay, so uh, let me just give you the proof. Uh, let's see. Uh, these directions should be uh, so which this direction should be trivial, right? Because if not, uh, if not, that you can find the ideal. If there is an ideal which is uh, infinite generated. So you can basically you can view this ideal is can be generated by f one, f two, f three, and keep going. Okay. And then we are assuming that there are this are all non non, non trivial. So there will be so this representation is non trivial such that f three will not in f one in and uh, f three will not in the ideal generated by f one and f two. Okay. Then if this is true, then obviously that you can create an infinite chain, right? You can, because you can create an infinite chain such that F1, the ideal generated by F1 is different from ideal generated by F1, F2, and the F1, F2, F3. Okay, then this will contradict that, uh, this will contradict that A is, A is, A is, A is uh, not zero ring, okay? So proof is complete. Okay, and uh, now let's go to the other directions. And uh, the other directions, it's a little bit tricky that we want to show that if every ideal of A is 
finally generated, and we want to say that uh, is uh, is not there. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky, right? Because you usually you don't know how to give the proof. So the idea the idea is the following. So suppose we have a chain, okay, in A, ideal chain, and and uh, we want to and then we can create another idea which is commonly technique in the commutative algebra, you take all the union of i, this will be ideal, it will be ideal in A. And uh, by definition, this guy is finally generated. So I can write as F1 generated F2 up to Fn. Okay, then by definition, right, since this is equal, right? So F1, uh, there will be I of one, let's call I of one, belongs to integer such that F1 is a, uh, in the uh, i of i of one, and the f two because it's union, right? So it will be i of two. At f n will be i of n n. Okay. So obviously that if we take if I take obviously that we uh that let me take take, I say I take n to be the maximum of maximum of all these indices. I one i two since it's finite, so the maximum indices exist of n. Then uh, we can see that uh. Right, so up to here you have this i of n. So i of n already included every f1, f2 up to fn. Uh, so maybe using n bar because I already use n here. Let's call it n bar. So i of n bar already consider all the f1, f2 up to fn, right? So this will give us that. Uh, this will give us that uh, i of n bar is actually f1, fn. Right, then I of n bar plus one will be the same as I of n bar. So also the same as I of n bar plus two. Then it will terminate, it will terminate. Okay. Yeah, so this is the fact. Okay, so now we can go back to prove this uh, Noserian, uh, this Hilbert basis theorem. And, uh, oh, okay, so let's go to the proof. So we want to, we, okay, so let me just, so setting, as I said, settings A is a Noserian. Ring, and then we want to claim that uh, claim that a of x will be no theory, and then we don't want to use the ascending chain, so we want to show that uh, we want to show ideal in a of x is finally generated, right? Yes, finally generated. Oh, by the way, so anyone inside this video is, if you subscribe to my channel, you're, you're my good friends. I mean, life sucks, right? So the only thing I can do is just make it some stupid video. Okay, oh, by the way, so in this video, I, I already, I forgot to mention that every ring in this video is commutative ring with identity. Okay, so uh, I want to claim that I is finally generated. So, uh, okay, so the, let's consider the following. So this proof is a little bit tricky. So let's consider, let's, we can take F1, F1 the polynomial, such that F1 uh, inside uh, belongs to I, at F1 is least degree. Okay, so this is possible, right? Because this is always doable because, I mean, integer, uh, the positive integer is bounded below, right? So you can always find some guy who just has least degree. <laughs> And uh, and uh, then uh, then I after that I can take f two. I, I then after that I can ask whether f one is the same as i or not. If the f one is the same as i, then it's finally generated, right? If it's not, then I I take f two. So I take f two belongs to i minus f one. Okay, so I I take f two, which is the f two is also a least degree. F two is a least degree in in this uh, in this set. And I ask whether f1 and f2 belongs to i. Oh, sorry, the same as i. If it's the same, then it's finally generated, and I keep going. So I just keep, 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 keep going. Okay. Okay. Then I will get. Then I then then I will get. Then I would I would get f1. I will get the f1 right, different from f1 and f2. And uh, maybe still different from f2 and f3. And I will keep going, right? So in order to show a i belongs to a is finally generated, then I need to show that this guy will terminate. 
So I do show that this guy will terminate. Okay. Uh, so claim is that this guy will actually terminate. Okay, so claim this guy terminate. Okay, and uh, but so you, you can see this proof is difficult, right? Because you don't know how to make this guy terminate, right? Because this this it looks like this process should terminate, but you don't know up to where it terminates. Okay, so now you need to use, so this is the tricky part that you need to use this uh, original condition such that A is no Saren ring and hope that this will make you to prove that this terminate. Okay, so the idea is following. You can take, let's take A1 to be the, the leading coefficient, uh, leading coefficient of F1. Okay, and A2 will be the da 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 of F2. Okay, so you will get A1, right? It's, it's, this is ideal, right? You can, this is ideal in, uh, this is ideal chaining A. Okay, so now the trick that this guy will terminate, right? So, so this guy will terminate, let's say terminate up, let's say, uh, let's say finally become A1, A2, A3, that are up to AM, such, a, such that it terminates, okay? So that means that uh, AM plus one will be well inside this, okay? Okay, so mine, so claim is that, uh, so if you do this, then finally we'll term, terminate up to M. Okay, we'll terminate up to M. So if you're up to M, then we claim, then we claim that the uh, I is generated by F1, F2, F3 up to Fm. Okay, so this means that uh, the previous the process will terminate by just using the coefficient. If you believe A1, A2 up to M will terminate, then this guy will terminate. Okay, so uh, uh, this proof just proved by contradiction, right? So suppose not. I suppose now means that uh, I do not do not the same as F1, F2, Fn, but A1, A2 up to AM terminate. So terminate means that uh, uh means. Hmm. Okay. So uh. Okay, so terminate means that uh, if you keep keep doing this, if you keep if you just previously keep keep using this, right? Then finally you 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 will get you you, you will get the same. Uh, you you are you are this I will terminate, and the proof basically you take out all leading coefficient f one f two, right? You just keep saying keep, you just keep doing right, and I what I I claim is that uh, until that uh, if you get if this this sequence will terminate, if it terminate up to m, then I claim that. Uh, this idea will be generated by F1 up to Fm. Okay, but, okay. So I hope you guys understand this. Okay, so by our process, right? So by our process, and then we, so we will choose Fm plus one belongs to I minus right, F1 up to Fm, okay? So this means that, uh, uh, this means, and also we have Am plus one, right? So M plus one will be the near combination of, let's say you, J A J from J one one to M, right? Because by definition is terminate. Okay. So we can define G to be uh da, 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 da. we define to G, that's right, G to be another polynomial U J F J X degree F M minus one minus degree uh, sorry F M plus one minus degree F J J from one to M. Okay, so obviously that uh, this G is uh, generated is uh, in F one, F two up to F M because this is here, right? And uh, if you ask a degree G, you can see that degree F has the deg it's degree FJ, right? So degree G will be degree FJ, degree FJ cancel. So it's a degree, it's just a degree FM plus one, okay? Okay, and uh, so, but, uh, but what? But FM, so FM plus one minus G, uh, okay, so, this is this is one fact. The other fact is that uh, what is the leading coefficient? So leading coefficient, leading coefficient, coefficient of G will be this, right? Will be this, or summation of this, which is just a m plus one, right? So which means that the the, lead, the G just be a m plus one x m 
plus one, right? Keep, keep going. Uh, sorry, uh, AM plus one with the degree of uh, FM plus one. So if I using FM minus G, then I will get degree. Then the degree of this, because the highest turn is already canceled, right? So this means that this degree of FM minus G is strictly less than degree of FM plus one. Okay, but, but notice that the FM plus one minus G is not inside the, it's not inside this F1, F2, FM. Why? Because my assumption is that I is different from, I, my assumption is I is different from this. So that means this F, FM plus one by, by my choice is not, cannot, if FM minus one, FM plus one minus G cannot be inside here because G is already inside here. So if FM plus one minus G is inside here, that means that FM plus one well inside F1 up to F, FM. Okay, so FM plus one minus G do not sit inside this ideal. Okay, so this means that, uh, okay, so we have FM plus one minus G, uh, FM plus one minus G do not inside this F1, F2, FM, but FM plus one, FM plus one minus G has degree strictly less than has degree strictly less than uh, less than degree of fm plus one and at least violate our process because we define fm plus one to be the least degree that we choose okay so this violate our process contradiction okay so since it's contradiction so the only case is that this guy must be the same Okay, so this is a uh, Hilbert basis theorem. I think this is this theorem is important that uh, we should be. Uh, I I should make a video on it. And the uh, next time I will talk about uh, uh, weak and strong Dustin Ansatz, which is also important. You know, if you want to, I mean, it's not necessary, but I mean, it's fine. It's interesting. See you guys.